Hey, I'm somewhere. A weapon here, and somebody here might help me to deload it, discharge it. Or... Yeah, I love that. Huh. And it looks like the real stuff. Looks like I'm in some kind of a drug shack or something there. You can it's a hold up, I'm right handed, but anyway. So, is this the real stuff or uh, what is it? I don't know, we're gonna find out. And what's your name? Martin Gannett, Staff Sergeant with the Frighten Police Force. And uh, this, this looks like the real stuff. Yeah, it uh, sure looks like it. It's a, uh, it's a replica firearm and uh, it's very similar to our real firearms. Of course, it's in weight and size and obviously in color, they're all black in this particular case. And the danger, of course, is if someone points us at officers uh, mm. in the right circumstances or wrong circumstances and the right situational um, events, uh, the officer is going to engage yeah. and possibly shoot. So. And we had a problem at Don Donald Street yep. about a few weeks ago. Right. In that particular case, one of our officers was driving by off-duty and observed an individual um, standing in a, in a window with an assault rifle, what appeared to be an assault rifle. So the officers were dispatched, they set up a perimeter, um, started evacuating oh, some yeah. apartments, and uh, then eventually the people walked out unknowingly and then they were placed under arrest. And once we uh, started talking with them, we realized we what we had were replica firearms, handguns and assault rifles. They were shooting a movie, and they had shot parts of the movie in the downtown area on the Walking Bridge, as well as on uh, McLeod Avenue, oh, Queen Square. And uh, if you have a look at the movie, it's, it's well done, it's very well done. And we're surprised we never got a, a call from the public when they were shooting this movie because it's uh, it was very real. Are you trying? You're from my hometown, mm -hmm. Marmont Cook. Uh, I'm from Marmont Cook. Uh, you're trying to tell me these snobs here in Fredericton don't complain about guns, people walking around with guns. <laughs> well, we're surprised we didn't get a call yeah. about this this movie because it was very realistic, and yeah. we get calls about all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I know. We would definitely think that we would get a call about this. So we were surprised we didn't. Had we gotten a call, we would have responded in a high-risk event, mm -hmm. right? So uh, officers would have responded accordingly. Now, this is one, mm -hmm. and you have about four or five of those, and, 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 and a rifle? Well, yeah, most there, were, like a rifle. There, was, uh, there were two rifles, one shotgun, and three handguns. And then they're all replicas. They're either uh, spring rifles or spring guns or CO2 cartridge charged, and what they're called uh, airsoft guns. So... so Sena fuck si si chaka rant lo rant ta magasin bit so mm -hmm. pi mo so al al fast fast in person it's the real stuff yeah tu comme un un vol armé avec avec un arme comme ça tu tu vas te faire tu vas te faire approcher par la police quand des vrais armes à feu puis ça va pas être beau il n'y a pas beaucoup de des jouets de même? Je ne sais pas combien il y en a, mais il y, y a des raisons légitimes pour les avoir. Il y a des clubs, il y a des compétitions, des airsoft. Mm. Puis il y a des forces de police qui les utilisent pour de la formation. Ça fait que, tu sais, il y, y a des raisons légitimes pour les avoir, mais dans ce cas ici, certainement pas dans le centre-ville. La police veut que vous enregistrez ce site. Ça coûte deux pièces. C'est ça. Je crois que c'est deux pièces, un coût d'administration. Tout de suite, le, le système pour les enregistrer pour mal ad hoc, euh, on demande aux personnes de venir, euh, les six et des jeunes avec leurs parents, prendre leur nom, un numéro, euh, téléphone, adresse, ainsi de suite, pour qu'on puisse euh, attacher la personne avec ce, ce fusil ou ce jouet-là à une certaine adresse. Ça ne fait jamais qu'on appelle, on aurait l'information. So, anybody that has one of these toys, they just come here and it costs two bucks? That's right. They, Give them two dollars, and I think it's the administration fee. And I'm not even sure if we're collecting right now or not. It's it's the safety issue. It's a safety concern. Simply just to register them, so we have a name. What do you say to people that say they register it, and there seem to be a problem in their household, in that area, and his their name is on the registered list for this kind of firearm? Could, could they be in danger? Or? That's a very good point. I never thought of that. I think we're going to have to cross that bridge when we when we get to it, if we get to it. Oh, by, by the way, I never thought about that. I heard it on Information Morning, CBC, oh, this right. morning. <laughs> okay, Martin, thank Great. you thank you very much. All and right. uh, anybody that has one of these, just uh, register the Fredericton Police Force. Cost two bucks. And uh, keep the city safe, right? Right on. Merci beaucoup. Thank you.